A warm welcome to our viewers anywhere around the world. This is Nationwide on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority. I'm Ayo DG, Mike Indy. Ahead of Eid al Fitri, the federal government has declared Thursday, 11th April 2024, as an additional public holiday to celebrate this year's Eid al Fitri. Minister of Interior Olubumi Tsunji Ojo, while congratulating the Muslim Umar, for the spiritual rejuvenation of Ramadan fasts, reiterates President Bola Tinubu's firm commitment to providing a safe and prosperous Nigeria for all to thrive. In another development, the President General, Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, His Eminence Al Haji Muhammad Saad Abubakar III as accepted Wednesday the 10th of April 2024 as the first day of Shawal 1445 after Hijra and declared the day of Eid al fitri The Sultan felicitates with Nigerian Muslim Umar and wishes them Allah's guidance and blessings. He urged Muslims to continue to pray for peace, progress and development of the country. The Inspector General of Police, Kayodi Egbetokun, has tasked Assistant Inspectors General of Police, Commissioners and Tactical Commanders across the 36 states as well as the Federal Capital Territory to intensify security measures during and after the Eid al fitri celebration. The force indicates that officers and resources are to be deployed to critical locations, particularly Eid prayer grounds and recreational centers. The officers and men of the force have been directed to conduct comprehensive assessments of areas prone to threats, implement rigorous stop and search procedures, conduct raids on identified black spots, and employ other anti-crime strategies aimed at maintaining peace and ensuring public safety throughout the country. While wishing the Muslim Umar a joyous and peaceful festivities, the Inspector General of Police urges them to embrace the spirit of the occasion to remain vigilant and report all suspicious activities of persons to the police. Let's also tell you that the Corps Marshal of the Federal Safety Corps, Dauda Alibu, has directed over 28,000 Corps operatives of regular and special marshals to effectively cover 51 corridors during the Eid al Fitr Special Patrol which is expected to commence from the 8th to the 13th of April 2024. This directive is in view of the envisioned increase in vehicular movement and the need to make highways safe by eliminating all variables that propel road traffic crashes on the highway. While congratulating the Muslim Omar, the Corps Marshal wishes them a blissful and a peaceful celebration. He urges the motoring public to adhere to the lessons of Ramadan. Meanwhile, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, says it has deployed more than 40,000 personnel across the country. The Defense Corps spokesperson, Babawale Afolabi, says the move is to protect lives and property and also to safeguard critical national assets. Afolabi indicates that the directive was prompted by prevailing security challenges and the need for proactive response to criminal activities. He also mentioned that the Corps would deploy both kinetic and non-kinetic approaches to ensure peace and safety of all citizens across the country. Ahead of Salah festivities, Yobe State's government says it has put in place measures to ensure that Muslim faithful celebrate the end of Ramadan fast in a peaceful atmosphere across the state. This was at an emergency meeting summoned to review existing security arrangements as well as adopt new measures. Yunusa Suleiman reports. The state is generally adjudged to be enjoying relative peace, but the rising cases of culpable homicides among youth groups within Dematru Metropolis have become source of concern to stakeholders in the state. This meeting was therefore summoned to review existing security arrangements in the state and adopt more robust strategies to ensure that these acts of criminality are nipped in the board as Muslim faithful prepare to celebrate this year's Idil Fitr Salah celebrations. 
Playing grounds are going to be adequately covered, as well as the place of social activities. I'm still using this opportunity to advise members of the public to feel free and come out for their religious rite and the Salah celebration. Stakeholders here have advised parents and caregivers in the state to watch out the whereabouts of their children and words before, during and after the festivities, warning that anyone found breaching public peace will be made to face the full wrath of the law. In the matter, Yunusa Suleiman, NTN News. Moderation and safety consciousness would enhance a hitch free Eid El Fitr celebration. Federal Road Safety Corps and other critical stakeholders expressing this view on Good Morning Nigeria cautioned against overspeeding and unwholesome practices. Ekemeni Williams reports. Muslims in Nigeria will join others across the globe to celebrate Eid El Fitr Wednesday. Like other festive seasons, it comes with preparations including traveling to celebrate with loved ones, purchase of items for sharing with neighbors and other festivities. For a hitch free celebration, these critical actors in Good Morning Nigeria want Nigerians to be mindful of the current economic realities and the need to observe all road traffic rules and regulations. You see people on top of trucks, some people before they drive, they must have taken some things. At times they say, let me take one for the road, let me take, mm -hmm. let me shine my eyes. <laughs> so, and they don't know that all this is impair their vision. When you overloaded your vehicle, the vehicle cannot work according to capacity any longer. So this one has also causes a lot of crashes, then excessive speed. So we ensure that all our vehicles are in good condition. We have routine officer and instruction officer who check all the vehicles before departing that they have good tires, their brakes are working, their traffic data. Who are likely to go into crime during this period. And in doing that, you also have, the, you must have to cultivate the spirit to understand that the security agencies, whatever it is, if it is the federal road safety, the police, the civil defense and what have you, you should be able to bring that to their notice. The key admonishment here is that there is life after the celebration and Muslim faithful should continue to adhere to the teachings of Ramadan. Continue with the ideals of Ramadan. Don't do evil, don't steal, don't kill. Love your nation. Work together to engender brotherliness between the Christian, Muslims and other religious practitioners. The Federal Road Safety Corps and security agencies say they have deployed adequate personnel and equipment to vital corridors across the country for protection of lives and properties. In Abuja, Ekemini Williams, NTA News. Love, kindness and charity play crucial roles in fostering peaceful coexistence and societal progress. As Ramadan fast comes to a close this year, correspondent Jonathan Omajali explores how these virtues embodied through Ramadan and Zakat al Fitri are enriching the festive atmosphere in Lokoja, Kogi State. Abubakar Usman's spiritual journey has been long and transformative. Weeks of fasting, prayers, and introspection have brought him closer to his Maker. Today, he ventures out from the comfort of his home and settles at the bustling market square. What is the patronage like? No, no, I have come here to buy and then there is no okay, meat. You have come to buy <laughs> so that you can give out. Exactly. Oh, okay. I've, in fact, I've just bought and I've given out no, no, the, no, the, okay. the Sadaka, yes. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a seller. Initially mistaken for a vendor, Abubakar's true purpose is to fulfill his obligation of performing the Zakat. Sadaka to the that we call it. Well, the, it is very important that we do this because if you fast and you don't do it, it's like your fasting is uh, hanging. In the lively city of Lokuja, anticipation for Edo Fitri fills the air. Businesses thrive, with every street corner bustling with activity as people prepare for the joyous celebration. For those who may lack the financial means to partake fully, 
The generosity of individuals like Abubakar ensures that the festival will be a meaningful and memorable occasion for all. What God has destined that we must do. And so that is how, why we have to do it, even if it is not convenient for us. I'm wishing Nigerian peaceful celebration of Salah and prosperity. I'm praying for peace today in Inshallah. As the people and government of Kogi State strive towards peace and progress, the continued demonstration of love and empathy as witness during this period will be crucial. In Lokoja, Jonathan Omajali, NTA News. We now join Jonathan Omajali at the Paparanda Square in Lokoja to give us more insights on the Edel Fitri preparations. Hello there, Jonathan. Obviously, the mood is that of good celebration. Yes, you're, you're right. Um, the mood is that of um, celebration. I spoke with several of the locals yesterday and of course today. And one thing I can glean from their mood is the fact that they are excited beyond words. Um, of course, uh, there's a change in date. Uh, some of them we are hoping that the celebration will be today, but that has not in any way dampened the mood. Um, it has also given uh, those who were unable to perform their zakat yesterday another window of opportunity to do that today. Of course, those who are expectant are also smiling home. You look behind me, you see uh, a lot of people are buying grains and also distributing. And so the buyers are excited, uh, the sellers are also excited. And of course, it's a very good prelude to uh, tomorrow's celebration. Jonathan, expectations were high as uh, many thought um, the festival would be today. Well, the change in data surely didn't really affect the mood based on uh, what you've observed. But um, how are they taking the one extra day of public holiday uh, which was announced by federal governments to still celebrate on the Eid al Fitr? Uh, well, of, of course, um, just like I noted, um, the extra day gives them that window of opportunity um, to extend the hand of love to as many whom uh, they couldn't um, reach out to uh, yesterday and in the course of the fasting as a whole. Uh, so it's, it's another opportunity for them to demonstrate love, to show kindness and um, also to draw closer to God. They've, uh, they've gone uh, several weeks and, and uh, of course this uh, one day in between is not too much. That is what um, some of them are saying. Uh, they say one day uh, extra is not too much. So, of course, um, the mood is that of elation. And, of course, they are prepared uh, for the ultimate of the climax, which is tomorrow. Obviously, the early month of Ramadan brings so many reasons to celebrate and draw closer to God. My colleague there, Jonathan, I'd like to thank you for joining us on Nationwide. Thank you so much. All right. This is Nationwide on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority. It's now time to go over to our Lagos Network Center and Adeola will be our guide. Thank you, Olajide. I beg your pardon, Ayodeji. <laughs> No, Eid al Fitri is one of the two festivals in Islam celebrated to mark the end of a month long fasting period in Ramadan. What are the lessons and significance of Eid al Fitri? And what should be seen of Muslims after this spiritual exercise? Larry Bilei will tell us more in this report. The month long Ramadan fast is mandatory for Muslim faithful through divine injection to be at their utmost character during the fasting period. Charitable acts are also expected of the faithful and it is with a view of empathizing with the poor and downtrodden in the society. The last 10 days of Ramadan is also very significant as it precedes Eid al-Fitri, also referred to as the festival of the breaking of fast. <laughs> Kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ala ladina min kablikum. It's a way of making balancing up between the spirit and the body and the soil. You are complaining of a headache, you are complaining of a stomachache, but when you are fasting, 
you will discover that throughout that month, you will not experience any of such. So those are the benefits that from uh, Almighty Allah. As the fasting period brands off, Muslims are mandated to give share food or its equivalent in monetary terms to the needy to set them in the celebration mood. What do we call Sankat al Fitr? It is a form of charity given to the needy before the eight prayers so that they also can enjoy, celebrate with their family. The lessons of Eid transcends from the teachings in the month of Ramadan. We need to be more patient to ourselves and our words control ourselves. Not about doing bad things and about spoiling things. But when we are patient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything in this world. He's the one that created this world and he's going to give what we need by the patient. We have to be patient with our neighbor. God himself has united us. The unity is the most important within ourselves. The significance of Ramadan is to inspire God's consciousness and promote peaceful coexistence in the society. In Lagos, Larry, Bilayi, and the news. Technicians in the refrigerator and air conditioning sector have been equipped to strategically assist in the nation's drive to totally phase out hydrochlorofluorocarbons and other ozone depleting substances. Beneficiary training centers have received equipment and tools worth more than $2 million from the Federal Ministry of Environment in collaboration with the United Nations Development Program and other partners. Our environment correspondent Jennifer Igwe has more on this. Efforts under the Montreal Protocol are helping to heal the hole in the ozone layer. However, we are not out of the woods yet as there are still potent ozone depleting substances that can cause the ozone layer to become thinner. So to save the ozone layer and protect us from the deadly effect of ultraviolet radiation that comes from its depletion, gases like chlorofluorocarbon CFCs, halons, and other ozone depleting substances widely used in the manufacture and servicing of refrigerators and air conditioners including those used for firefighting and production of foam and solvent need to go. Nigeria has succeeded in phasing out CFCs, so one down with more to go. To meet its target of phasing out another critical gas, hydrofluorocarbon, the nation is building the capacity of training centers through donation of relevant equipment. The Federal Minister of Environment, with the support of UNDP, has trained 32 centers all over the country. Those centers have been certified. They were moved, they were trained in Italy, and they have been certified to be able to train other technicians in the use of these new refrigerants that are less in, uh, negatively impactful to the environment. Provide the right equipment for them to be able to uh, provide the necessary when they're doing repairs, for example, of refrigerators to use the right gases to be able to make sure that we are not uh, introducing more gases into the atmosphere and therefore uh, depleting uh, the ozone. But also importantly on the, on the flip side in terms of impact is the potential for job creation. Beneficiaries drawn from different parts of the country and this center in Lagos, for example, are expected to train and certify over 10,000 technicians on good refrigeration practices using hydrocarbon refrigerants. In Lagos, Jennifer Igwe, NTA News. And those are the reports from Lagos for now. Nationwide will continue in Port Harcourt when we return from this break. Please stay with us. Minister of Works, Dave Umayi, has restated the commitment of the federal government to ensuring that all federal road projects are executed speedily and delivered according to specification. He gave his assurance during his inspection for of ongoing reconstruction work at Enugu Port Harcourt to our carriageway and the LME on their axis of the east-west route. Chile Peronian's report is here presented. <laughs> The Enugu Port Harcourt Road Project is one of the key infrastructures which is receiving federal government attention. The Dua Carriage Road Project links the southeast and south-south regions of the country. 
Minister of Works Dave Omahi, after detailed inspection of the drains, baselines, culverts, and the quality of job done so far on the Port Harcourt Abala section of the road, noted that when completed, the road will play a pivotal role in enhancing connectivity in the transportation corridor of the country. By end of uh, April, they should have fully completed one carriageway. I'm working at the last three point uh, one kilometer on that segment. And then the other segment will be left with five kilometers, which we have prescribed to appreciate the uh, cost of reflection. Speaking at the site of the 15 kilometer element to Onet Junction of the East West Road Rehabilitation Project, the minister directed the contractors handling the project to speed up work and ensure strict compliance to specification. If they don't increase the pace, I will take out a portion of this road and give it to another contractor. That is what we are doing. We would not want contractor to stay on a, a job like this 15 kilometer by 230 kilometer, even though it's a very specialized kind of construction. He further stated that the federal government will not accept the delivery of jobs that fall short of standard. And Muslims in Port Harcourt are in high spirit as they make last-minute preparations for the celebration of Eid al Fitri, which marks the end of Ramadan fast. Ijoma Ogweke, who spoke with some members of the Muslim community in Port Harcourt, reports that described the religious exercise as spiritually and physically rewarding. The holy month of Ramadan often provides Muslims the opportunity of engaging in spiritual rejuvenation. The Ramadan fast, which ends with the sighting of the moon, culminates in Salah celebration, which is always greeted with excitement and merriment. A cross-section of Muslim faithful in Port Harcourt who are participating in the religious obligation say while they initially look forward to celebrating Salah today, they are not deterred by the shift to Wednesday as it will enable them to complete the 30 days fasting period. We are happy because as the postponed on our religion, not be our fault. So the moment our Salah concerns our moment. When do we come out? Maybe the Salah day. So the moment we come out yesterday. However, we don't feel bad though. We feel so fine because now Allah is hunting. If during the month of Ramadan, you hold yourself for doing all these evil things, they are expecting you after Ramadan, you continue. Although a visit to the market did not show much of activities, some Muslim faithful who spoke with NTA News say they already have materials put together to be distributed to the less privileged neighbors and friends as the celebration demands. So, I, I go share everybody on this any the other people do Muslim, I go share them and give plenty for inside here. Before you say in Kwan yesterday, I see I'm plenty for people here. They affirm that the Salah celebration will equally afford them the opportunity to pray for the peace and unity of the country. In Port Harcourt, Ijo Mugweke, NTA News. And that does it from Port Harcourt. It's back to Ayo Deji for the rest of the news. Good evening. Diba Bari in our Port Harcourt Network Center would like to appreciate you. Out a bit of economy, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security has flagged off its annual aerial spray of pesticide against quilla bird attacks on Nigerian crops. The spray, which is expected to take place in all the flashpoints of the nine local government areas of Bochi State, will also take place in some areas of Gumbi State, where these birds are usually visiting. Abdullahi Aminu completes the story. This is a multipurpose Cessna 206 aircraft. It is now ready for the spray of chemicals that will control the disaster of Quelia Bird's attack on the country's farm produce. Quelia are the most hated birds that are appearing in an extreme number. The small birds are causing huge damage of the crops with an average of one eating about 10 grams of grain per day. Pentian and DDVP are the two chemicals used to spray the areas that are experiencing the attack of these birds. 
what we want to achieve is to ensure that we reduce this uh, birds to the barest minimum so that even if they are surviving, the, the number or the damage they can cause will be to the barest minimum that the uh, farmers can even bear. Then our crops will be protected from being destroyed. Agricultural transformation policies of the federal government has made positive impact in the sector, leading to increased yields and production. The Federal Minister of Agriculture and Food Security has drawn the attention of the affected communities to properly cover their water containers and stay away from eating any dead bird they may see after the spray. We are given 1,600 liters of fentayong to spray in those chemicals and DDVP, which is used to reconstitute the fentayong in order to have a very lasting effect on those beds. The aerial spray will continue with other flash areas in Gombe State after the completion of the nine local government areas of Bauchi State. In Bauchi, Ablahi Aminu, NTA News. Over the years, the use of railway system has remained a reliable means of transportation. Residents in Enugu are calling for the revitalization of the dilapidated rail lines and subsequent restoration of railway transportation in the southeast zone. Chimaroki Ugu's report is presented. In general, Nigerian railway have played key roles in the country's socio-economic development as well as stimulated rapid urbanization. It is against this backdrop that Enugu residents, especially traders, have called for the revitalization of railway system in the eastern part of the country to boost business activities and increase the revenue generation of the country. If Paraventure will start making use of railways in uh, transporting some of all these things, it will be saving the life of uh, the road. Railway is faster, railway is uh, cheaper, Railway is more convenient. According to the Eastern District Manager Railway Corporation, construction work has commenced in the Port Harcourt through a back axis of the rail tracks, including laying of rail tracks to Enugu and beyond. They have started since last year, April. They have started recruiting the track that is from Port Harcourt up down to Enugu here. Yeah. The district manager maintained that one of the major setbacks of the project is vandalism of railway materials and called for monitoring of the rail tracks against vandals. In Enugu, Chiegono Aro, NTA News. James, Opare Kocha is standing by at the Enugu Railway Corporation to tell us more on the importance of the railway transport system. It's good to see you, James. It's been a while, uh, but um, at the moment, uh, what's the present state of work at the Port Harcourt Enugu end of the rail construction? Not too much is really happening. I'm here at the Enugu station of uh, the Nigerian Railway Corporation. This railway station here, this axis from Port Harcourt to Kano, was actually established, you know, was constructed in 1916. And this was as a result of the uh, discovery of coal in 1909. Um, the, 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 the movement of coal from here to Port Harcourt and out of the country necessitated the construction of the railway. And then goods like Grand North, which is the Grand North Pyramid from Kanu, also moving down to the south to Port Harcourt Harbour and uh, route to the foreign countries. But today, the railway is moribund in the southeastern part of the country from Port Harcourt to Medugri and from Port Harcourt to Joss. Um, nothing not is happening and the people of the southeast are really worried. If you look at uh, the, 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 the station, everything here seems... Uh, you know, lifeless. Behind my back here is the Namde Azikiway Stadium. The railway was really planned in such a way that um, the, 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 the passengers could stop by the railway station and just walk down to the stadium to watch matches those days. And then here we have uh, some of the cargoes, you know, uh, at the railway station that has been here. Uh, from the information gathered from the PRO, the last time a uh, Portacourt canoe Rail station, rail, uh, rail train passed through here was just about uh, eight years ago. 
Uh, but we had one from Enugu to Vim about two and two to three years ago. That is the highest, uh, the, the listed time that we had a train in this place. The people of the southeast are really, really, you know, they are traders, they are businessmen, and re tra uh, uh, train movement has the capacity to carry more passengers, more goods. If this rail line is uh, re-established, the prices of goods and services will reduce, especially food stores from the north, because a train can take about 16 coaches to 20 coaches of goods, and you can imagine what that means. Uh, instead of uh, the, the pressure on our roads by the long uh, vehicles, the trailers and the rest of them, the, 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 rail, the rail tracks which people are saying what we need is actually the standard gauge and not the narrow gauge that we have from 1916 till date. In the western part of the country like Lagos, Ibado, we have the standard gauge uh, which is uh, wider and uh, that is also what the people are clamoring for in this part of the country. We do hope that uh, uh, they will be looked into because the, 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 the movement from Port Harcourt to Aba, to Enumwahia, to Enugu, to Otupo, to Makodi, to Kafanchan, to Jos, and then either moves to Jos or moves to uh, right to Medugri, uh, cannot be emphasized, overemphasized. We really believe that um, it's necessary that this rail track is resuscitated for the benefit of the entire nation because uh, business will strive very well, prices of goods and services will come down, and passengers can travel at night at under a very conducive atmosphere. I personally enjoyed the train in the 80s, those days from Otuko to the north and back. It was a very pleasant experience, and I wish uh, these That's things will come back for our own children to experience what we experienced then. Now that you have mentioned uh, that, James, um, it's one thing to have the rail tracks back. How do you think that the community can own it, especially this day and time when vandalism seems to be a major problem to infrastructure development? Well, I think um, reorientation is very important. Uh, when, when the rail line tracks are abandoned, people tend to believe that they are no longer in use. But when they see a reconstruction of the work and being given the orientation that it is for their own good, I can assure you uh, that uh, they, will not, they will not vandalize it. It's the same thing we found in the West. You know, since the, 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 the railway system is functioning in the West, nobody is talking about vandalism because the people are the ones enjoying it. And they wouldn't even, they would far become the watchdogs of the, of the, of the, of the, of the rail tracks, I can promise you that uh, if the construction starts, the people will be so overexcited and will even protect the, the, the rail tracks themselves. Apart from the, the road and security agencies like the, the civil defense and the rest of them will, will do. James Opara Culture, I'd like to thank you for giving us a contribution about the ongoing um, efforts to bring back the rail system in the southeast of the country. The pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. All right. The Nigerian Navy has intercepted 620 parcels of substance suspected to be marijuana originating from a Edo state within the borders of Kogi state. The arrest occurred at a checkpoint along the Lokoja Abuja route by personnel from the Nigerian Navy ship Lugard Special Team in Banda Kogi state. Solomon Aide reports. Against criminal elements within the nation requires concerted efforts, as emphasized by Commodore Moses Epele, commander, Nigerian Navy ship Lugard, Banda. He said he is while parading a suspected marijuana peddler. Commodore Epele explained that a team deployed for special duty intercepted the Navy Blue Golf car laden with the illicit substance from the Sabora community in Edo State. The suspect, identified as a 34-year-old male, from Castina State was subsequently handed over to the officer in charge of strike force and head narcotics National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLA Ulufemi Abolaniwa for further investigation. On the part of Nigerian Navy ship Lugard, we shall not rest on our oars. 
in curbing activities of miscreants. It's worth noting that Ida, Ibaji, and Okene local government areas in Kogi State share borders with Edo State. In Lokoja, Solomon Ayedehi, NTA. It's time now to cross over to our Makudi Network Center. And Charles is already on standby to give us the next set of reports from that side. Over to you, Charles. I, your DG, for joining us in Makudi. Ahead of the Eid al Fitr celebration, Muslims in Makudi, the Benue State capital, are making last minute preparations. Blessing on Meche Ebute reports that though the markets are witnessing low patronage, the Muslims are, however, grateful to Allah for keeping them safe during the fasting period. Unlike the large crowd of persons usually seen during festivities at the Wadata market, Makudi, this time the situation is different as few buyers have turned out to purchase food items. No, the price is very high again because people do not have uh, enough money now because everything is cost. So it's managed. So they add money for that place because of the salary. We will come here now we add money. Because where we are buy it, they add money for us. Do the prices of food items in the market have remained high during the Ramadan period, some buyers say they are grateful to Allah for giving them the ability to afford the little they can to enable them to celebrate with their loved ones. The price of meat has been on the increments. Like uh, the pen rubber, the small pen rubber that we used to buy 1,200. It's now one five. Uh, it's the same money day with the happy now. But now money you no know, everything you don't cost. Everything that add money. Baby you don't add money, rice don't add money, beef don't add money, meat don't add money. So how we go to other Muslims expressed happiness to Allah for keeping them safe and healthy during the festive period. They are optimistic that the Eid al-Fitri celebrations will be peaceful. In Makudi, blessing Omecha Ibuti, NTA News. The Benue State Government says it will continue to collaborate with international organizations in providing durable solutions in tackling the humanitarian crisis in the state. Governor Hass and Talia disclosed this during the Foundation Lane Ceremony of 330 Capacity Conference Hall for the State Emergency Management Agency. Blessing on Meche Ebute again reports that the governor was represented by his principal private secretary, Dr. Emmanuel Chenge. <laughs> The foundation lane of the conference hall signifies a major milestone in the steps taken by the Benue State Government in addressing humanitarian crisis in the state. The 330 capacity conference hall, when completed, will serve as a platform for knowledge sharing and a venue for collaboration with partners in disaster management. This state-of-the-art conference hall will serve as a pivotal hub for material affairs in Bernal State, providing conducive environment for strategic discussions, capacity building, sessions, and emergency response coordination. Some international partners reiterate their commitment in providing the necessary assistance to addressing natural and man-made disasters in the state. We are finalizing a roadmap to look at all these aspects of the needs of the people and we, we hope that we can soon discuss this roadmap and this partnership in the new conference board. We shall continue to support SEMA to ensure that this laudable project sees its completion and the light of the day. Principal Private Secretary to the Governor, Dr. Emmanuel Chenge, who stood in for Governor Hyacinth Alia, commended the international partners for their assistance and says their support is making a brighter and more resilient Benue. The establishment of a situation room within this conference hall underscores the critical need for enhanced coordination and response capacity. The state government is committed to providing the necessary leadership for the successful delivery of this project. In Makudi, blessing on nature equity and genius. So far, contribution from Makudi Nationwide continues in our Enego Network Center just after the break. Please stay. Happy holiday and welcome to Enugu. Enugu State House Committee on Works and Infrastructure has directed to scanning road project 
in the state to employ the Bill of Engineering Measurement and Evaluation for Quality and Durable Road Infrastructure. Chairman of the House Committee, Clifford Nemeka Obe, gave the directive during an oversight function. Chimaro Kuku's report is hereby presented by Chiagonu Aro. Among the road infrastructure visited by the House Committee on Works were Owo, issues on road and Enugu new city roads. While expressing displeasure at the pace of work and substandard materials used, the committee chairman maintained that the government of Pitamba is passionate about providing quality road network in Enugu for enhanced socioeconomic development. The members insist that contractors must work according to specification and appropriate materials at each development stage of the project. Since we represent them, we need to get the best out of uh, their money. So if any contractor, after warning them and the request, uh, making a recommendation for them to get to the specification and do on ground what is written on the contract they, they, they sign, if they are not doing it, it means uh, we make uh, also recommendation to the government to stop uh, them from uh, further, uh, further in their I sincere apologies as we have to disconnect from our Port Harcourt, from our Enugu Network Center over the poor quality of the video. Let's move on here in Abuja and tell you that cultivating the habit of giving out part of one's blessings is not only a noble act of selflessness, but a way of reducing poverty and crime in the society. This was the focus of the 17th annual lecture held in honor of the former Zonal Director NTA Sokwoto Olhaji Yehaya Sani. Correspondent Shola Wahid has the report. Recitations from the glorious Quran and special eulogy sets the tone for the annual lecture organized in memory of veteran journalist Al Aji Yayasani for his contributions to Islam and humanity. In his lecture titled Benefits of Spending in the Course of Allah, the guest lecturer, a professor of Islamic law, Abdul Wahab Eleshi, emphasized on the need for people to show greed and encourage those who have to extend to the less privileged in the society. He described the late Yayasani as an epitome of selflessness and humility who should be emulated by all. We came with nothing and we go back with nothing. We should not forget to spend our wealth, our knowledge, our experience to the cause of Almighty Allah. For those he left behind, his memories linger on. I can assess him with the relationship with me. Whatever he says for me is the final. This is the 17 years or 18 that he has passed away. There is no day I will not cry. He was my benefactor. You can learn a lot from Malaji. The late Ayasani worked in NT Network Lagos as assistant director of news and retired as the zonal director NT Sokoto in March 2005. He was one of the heroes of the Nigerian Civil War, a veteran journalist and astute administrator. He died on the 6th of September 2007 in Ilori. Shonda Wahid, NTA News. Up next is Sports Updates with Gift George. The Super Falcons of Nigeria will have a chance of fulfilling their dream of playing at the Olympics in Paris when they take on the Bayana Bayana of South Africa in the second leg of the Olympic qualifiers Tuesday night in Pretoria, South Africa. In 24 previous encounters with seven played in South Africa, Nigeria have won 15 with five ending in a draw and South Africa winning four. The first leg of the Olympic qualifiers ended in a long goal victory for Nigeria at the Moshud Abiola National Stadium Abuja. The second leg is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. Nigerian time tonight. The last time the Super Falcons featured at the Olympics was in Beijing in 2008. Obviously coming off the win from the last game, we have a lot of confidence, so um, I think we'll improve our, our way of play. In basketball, Nigerian's top men and women's basketball clubs have been given another huge opportunity to assess their quality ahead of the National League and other continental engagements. 
10 men and 6 women clubs from Nigeria, Ghana and Benin Republic featured at the third edition of the Louis Edem Invitational Basketball Championship, which ended at the Indo Sports Hall of the National Stadium Lagos. The week-long West African Basketball Championship, organized by the former national player, saw MFM defending their title with a 58-56 win over First Bank in the women's final, while Hoops and Reed, owned by former Day Tigers captain Olumide Uyedeji, defeated Spintex Knights of Ghana 64-60 to emerge champions in the men's category. If you look at the history of the Hoops and Reed basketball team, that's what we are, that's what we do. I mean, we build champion, we break champion, and we continue to build that. Looking at uh, bringing in scouts and international coaches so, you know, some of these guys can get to play uh, basketball outside of Nigeria and actually earn a good living, you know, playing professional basketball. On the foreign scene, in the first leg of the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal fixtures, English league leaders Arsenal takes on Bayern Munich, while 14-time champions Real Madrid welcomes defending champions Manchester City on Tuesday night. On Wednesday night in the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals first leg, it will be Atletico Madrid against Borussia Dortmund, while Paris Saint-Germain plays host to Barcelona. With sports update, Gift George, NTA News. And that's nationwide. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm Ayo DG. Mackinde, please enjoy the best of the holidays. This is the Nigerian Television Authority. Bye bye.